Hello and welcome to the show. I'm here on Street Legal Racing Redline for another build of a car. The vehicle I have today, one of my favourite cars, the Ferrari 360 Challenge. I was very glad to see that uh, I could find this car for this particular game. Now, as far as engines go, you will notice, well, that shouldn't be there at all. The engine that I've opted for is a V10 engine from a Viper. It's not any ordinary one though, it is twin turbocharged and uh, with various, various power stuffs in it. So when we go here, it's putting out near enough, well, 1,423 horsepower. That, that's an awful, awful lot of power. That's quite, that, that's a huge amount uh, <laughs> in this. So, yeah, we've also got quite a lot of torque. It's going to be pretty damn tough to drive, I would imagine, once we uh, once we get this car out on the track. Maybe it'll be quick. I mean, the fastest car we've had is the MX-5, which is what we will be trying to beat today. I'm not suspect... I don't think this will. I don't think you'll be able to use the power in this car. I suspect it'll be nigh on uncontrollable, but we will give it a go. We've got various racing parts. We've got humongous brake discs. Uh, available for this car. I would admit the, sh the shock absorber there is slightly... Mm, I mean, the back one's alright. That front one is slightly... I mean, that's... Mm, that would be unhealthy, shall we say, if you have your, your shocks doing that. I, there's not a... I don't know if there's a way to change it. There may be somewhere with a lot of fiddling around. Uh, wheels. We actually have the proper Ferrari 360 wheels for this car, which is very really nice to see on here. Uh, we have got, unfortunately there is no particular interesting body, oh yeah, the gearbox, that's something about the engine I completely forgot what I was meant to be talking about. Uh, <laughs> the engine is so big it barely fits in this car. The only way I can make it fit in here and even look vaguely sensible is to have the gearbox sticking in here. I know it shouldn't do that, but otherwise I can't fit, the, the engine is huge. It doesn't really fit in the engine bay of a 360 Challenge very well. So, <laughs> the gearbox sticks out into the cabin. That's just a thing that happens, all right? I, I can't fix it. Uh, so it. It will have to do. I'm not entirely sure. Will we, we will probably... Uh, oh, we need to put the passenger door on. Oh, there we go. There's up here. Uh, we, oh, we do just fit in the uh, the back win, win, window bit. Uh, we could stick on all of these parts, and voila. Uh, now, I believe... I'm not sure how this works. There is something on here. Oh, where is it? It's in body, in body panels. Here we go. We can get a Ferrari engine cover. So we can make the engine bay look like the one from the Ferrari because I don't have the proper engine for the 360 challenge. How does that... It doesn't fit in there. It doesn't really work. <laughs> oh, well, that's a bit ambitious, if I'm honest. Uh, um, yeah, it doesn't really cover up the Viper bits. I didn't know what it did. I thought it'd be worth a try to have a look. It can't cover up the the engine that we've got in there. It is there if you want to have a fiddle around with various bits and get it working. Uh, we want to go... Yes, we do want to sell. We don't need the, the Ferrari engine cover on here. Uh, right, we will need a battery. We will need a battery. That's one thing I've just realised I haven't got in here. Uh, accessories and others. Here we go. We will need... Somewhere in here. We will need... Uh, this, I don't know where on earth it's going to put it. Where do we put said battery? Is battery floating anywhere, sticking out anywhere? Nope, battery is all good and hidden. That's fine then. Um, now, there is a way... Oh uh, no, I think there is a way of tweaking the sus suspension-y... You can do something with them. I know I've seen... Whoopsie, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, that's what I wanted to do. There is a way of sorts of tweaking the suspension. So I'm just trying to find a way of... Can we... if we click on there? No, that's ride height. If we fiddle... and I don't want to re reset. Um, I swear there was a way to fiddle and adjust stuff on there. Oh, you're not going to notice it though. Once he's got the the tyres on, it's, it's not going to matter particularly. Now, I don't know what size wheels they are. The game did not tell me, it just said Ferrari 360 Challenge wheels, hence why I bought them. Don't know what size it is, it's going to be pure and utter guesswork. Uh, on here, hmm, okay. We want running gear, we want tyres. Now, as per normal, 
I'm going to go for the control tyre. They seem to be the best tyres that I've come across. Actually, no, should we give one of these a go? We'll give one of these tyres a try. I don't know what on earth they're going to do. Low, low profile, super sport. Should we go for a super sport tyre? A 19? Sure. Let's see if this is, if this is about right. I don't know. Oh, it is! Perfect. Look at that. What a guess by me. I don't know what wheel it put it on. There we go. Hmm. I mean, it doesn't look like it fits quite right. I will give these tyres a go. Now, I don't actually know quite what difference the tyres make uh, performance-wise on the car in like how quickly they'll go around a track. I just know that some tyres make car fall over. That is my extent of knowledge on here, and the control tyre thing I've used before has seems to have done a pretty good job of making the vehicles drivable. These mu this might have too much grip and just fall over all the time, which would be odd for a 360 challenge to do because it's it's a very low supercar. Um, right, I think I'm, I'm missing a bit of glass I saw somewhere around here. Yes, I am on that back that back quarter. We want to go body and lights and this one here. Occasionally the names get a little bit messed up, so it's calling it that, which it, should, which it isn't. It's We're using lots of mods in an old game. Occasionally it does uh, weird things. Then we want to go and buy the interior, of course. How could I forget? We need a steering wheel. Do we have the right steering wheel? That is the question. Or will we be stuck with something strange? You look like a correct steering wheel. Looks like you're named after a Lamborghini, but you look close enough. Uh, <laughs> we also need a seat. What do we have in the way of seats? Do we have a Ferrari? Ah, oh, we do have a Ferrari drivers and a Ferrari passenger seat that may end up making their way into other cars that I build. They're quite cool looking seats. Uh, so Ferrari wheel from Ferrari seats. Look at that. And only if you're particularly looking can you see the gearbox sticking out the wrong way. Never mind. <laughs> see, it looks it looks very much like a Ferrari 360 challenge. I can't bring myself to respray it. Uh, it's going to stay <laughs> going to stay how it's supposed to look. It goes up and down on the jack without it all crashing, which is nice, and it hasn't fallen down the pit at all. So we're pretty much ready to go. All very smooth, really, with the Ferrari. And I'll say that, and we're probably going to fall over. So, let's take a guess what might have just happened. Yeah, as per normal, game may have crashed slightly, a little bit. Anyway, the car is pretty much ready to go. I have just noticed this. Is, yeah, I mean, the, the, they do kind of come slightly out of the bonnet. I mean, if my car was like that, I would probably take it to see somebody and say that something's quite broken. It shouldn't be doing that. But, the, the, yeah, I think these are two bigger uh, shock absorbers that I've got on the on the fronts here. It's just, I'm, I'm using a general mod for all of these running gear parts, which isn't specialised to a specific car, which means that things like this do occasionally happen. But, you know, the, the view that you're going to get when you... Ooh, how did I do that? I don't know. I managed to change the position the camera was focusing, and I have no idea how. But anyway, yeah, the view that we'll get when we're driving it is mostly from the back anyway, so bugger it. We shall go with it um, as it is. I'm perfectly fine with that. One thing we do have to check is that the car actually works. Last time I used a V10, it got very unhappy when I tried to start it. So we will give this one a quick start and make sure that it actually moves. So, okay, we've got steering... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> you can watch the suspension wiggle, or the the shocks wiggle as you steer. Um, it does look like quite it does look quite uncomfortable in there, if I'm honest. Where his shoulders are, I'm not sure that they should move. Anyway, never mind. Does the car st start? Yes, the car. Bloody hell, that's a very loud engine. I thought my computer was turned down. That's a very very loud engine. Okay. Okay. Car. The engine starts now. If we do this, and then we do that's a first. What's a reverse? Uh, something's in reverse, there we go. Oh! We shoot off the thing. Okay, we've got drive. Ha-ha! <laughs> we have movement and function and things. And, uh, oh dear, a little, little bit of a... Uh, what the game did there? Never mind. Oh, we ran over the camera. Oh, crap, don't fall in the pit. Don't fall in the pit. It doesn't really like it if I run over the camera too much. <laughs> okay, car works. Well, I've busted up the bumper slightly on that, on that one. Um, hmm. Celebratory, well, kind of celebratory donuts. Uh, <laughs> just chase the camera around. I see no one. No idea. We'll get ourselves in the trouble. Uh, ooh. <laughs> I wonder if you could roll a car in the inside the garage. Well, the good thing is that this hasn't fallen over immediately. That sounds like a challenge for some point. Oh crap. That's bad. That's quite 
poor. Quick, end the test. Go to the car lot and then we'll go back again and let it reset itself. Yes, there is my selection of vehicle, uh, some of the vehicles. Did I repair all of these? I don't know. Game's probably not going to be too happy when we try and load. Yeah, I think everything's actually okay in here. Um, I can never remember after they've been abused in the uh, uh, in the weight challenge. You can never remember they're fixed up. Okay, Ferrari back on its thing. Repair the bits of the... Oh, that's the wrong one. I can never remember which, which way around quite. Okay, everything's going to repair. I love how it's just $1,200 to repair a very expensive Ferrari. Oh, crap. Got to repaint the front bumper now because it's scratched. Uh, what color red would you like, <laughs> Ferrari? Um, hmm. No, wrong. No, oh, that's wrong again. We're gonna have a slightly wonky car. Okay, fine. Bugger it. We actually, I think that's a better red than it was before. Okay, computer. My computer is determined to mess up with this recording. It wasn't the game's fault that time round. Um, <laughs> never mind. Car resprayed. Now looking, I, I actually pref much prefer this. It's a, it's a brighter red than it was initially. I like it. Um, yeah, now it's time to go drive it around Sakuba. That can only end spectacularly well, I think. Our target time to beat is a 56.8 second lap set by a Mazda MX-5. And I don't think this is going to beat it somehow. The MX-5 was 700 horsepower V8. I think we've got twice the power in this car. I'm not sure it'll be able to harness all of that power. Let's give it a go and we will see what happens. I'm having... Oh! <laughs> it stayed in a straight line. I expected that to violently veer off while I was briefly talking. It didn't. Oh dear! We've gone round in a... Well, we've had a half spin. Yeah, as I expected really. This car is very oversteery and very, very twitchy. On the plus side, and there is a plus side to all of this, it isn't rolling over. So these tyres are certainly usable, but we have... I'm not sure about this car being very usable. I think I may slightly have ruined the, uh, <laughs> the Ferrari. Oh dear. <laughs> that is so twitchy. I'm trying my best, believe it or not whether you believe me or not on this, to be gentle on the throttle. This is me trying, like, it, you have a choice. You're either down here and you've just got no acceleration, or you try push it a little bit more, and all of a sudden we're struggling with a straight line. This should be the easiest bit of Sukuba right there. There should be no problems going in a straight line. But in this, in this there are problems. It is very, very difficult uh, <laughs> to keep this bloody thing under control. Here we go, up towards turn one. Got a little bit of speed on, and then we jump on the brakes, and then we get... <laughs> I'm not sure quite a car should do that. I don't think you should jump on the brakes in the back end to suddenly decide... Well, unless you were locking up the rear brakes, I guess. Then that would kind of make, make the back end suddenly decide to step out on you. But as far as I can tell, I wasn't. Um, oh, that's, that's, that's done a silly thing. Okay, I think new advice is we've got to stay off the curbs as well. Now that's a problem I'm used to on Forza 5. I'm not so much used to having that on on here. But we will avoid that curb at the hairpin. And then we will short shift and try... <laughs> I'm in fourth gear, goddammit. I'm trying to stop you wheels spinning and going sideways. And we... <laughs> that's, a, that's not the conventional method of slowing a car down into a corner. You don't normally wiggle from side to side. I mean, I guess that would probably shake off speed. But it wouldn't be very good for racing line and tyre wear. I would presume. Why can we not stay in a straight line? <laughs> um, the Ferrari, it's... it's. It, it, ooh, I've slightly ruined it. I'll be honest, I would... I kind of... Ooh, no, come on now. Kind of miss the normal, nice, lovely to drive 360 challenge, if I'm honest. Uh, <laughs> that would be nice to have right about now. Uh, okay. Okay, we can do this. If we are gentle with everything, Maybe we can get around a lap in under... Whoa, there we go. Yeah, it will kind of lift up. A little bit of willy roll going on. Uh, <laughs> but it's certainly not as bad as the, it normally is with the tyres. Or like, like it used to be on here with the tyres. Uh, ooh, I'm trying to push the damn car and I can't because the minute I do, we're sideways. And that's not conducive for a good lap time. Ah, and these slow corners just kill it. Because I can't put the power down out of them very easily. Lost so much time trying to get out of that corner. Come on, Ferrari. You can do it. 
you can, well, kind of, and then we get understeer. It's, it's a choice. I either have chronic, chronic understeer, or all of the oversteer. And I think understeer is a quicker way of getting around the track. One minute four. I don't think we're going to five, find four seconds all of a sudden on this final lap. I will try. Look at the under <laughs> It's that understeer going through the corner once we've stopped it oversteering. Slows it down, and then trying to put the power down out of said corner. Ooh, we're not really on a quicker lap. 16.6 is about the same as I did last time. Can we put any power? No, we can't put any power down at all. Out of there. Probably been a good idea to have made this four-wheel drive. I don't know if you can get a four-wheel drive gearbox for the V10. Probably been a sensible choice, but uh, we've got a rear-wheel drive car um, now. So <laughs> too late to think about that. Uh, ah, that's, mm, well, it's in a different line, perhaps. It's kind of an okay one. I just can't put that power down out of the corner. It just can't do it. And that's where I'm losing all of the time. Ooh, I tried to be clever. It's not worked. We've lost a bonnet. I, that was me trying to go for it down the back straight, and you can't. Ah, uh, well, I wasn't on for a much better lap time, if any. So, hmm. I think I may have ruined another car. Too much power. 1 minute 4.6. It's around the same time that the the, the, the the Toyota I had did around here. This sounds about right. Um, hmm. Okay. Oh, I've slightly scraped the bumper and we may have lost the bonnet at some point. Not so quick around a track is the Ferrari. Too difficult to drive. Which is not surprising considering the amount of power we've got in this bloody car. But it's now time for our other test. With the, uh, the weight gain, we will just repair whatever parts we can whatever parts we have uh it was that one wasn't it ah look at me remembering things and uh well there's a scratch on the bonnet to be honest after what we're about to do is scratch is probably not going to matter uh right we will go to test track here we go and then we will have a go at the weight game for those of you maybe maybe you're new to me playing this game basically the Ooh, once we get going, uh, once we've set off, the game will start dropping very large weights uh, around our car. My job is to avoid them, so a more agile car is good at this particular game. Uh, if you can duck and weave in and out of areas, you will be good at this. A certain amount of speed is required, yes. Can we get any... I just can't use any of the um, awesome power we have. I mean, this does... Kind of, oh no! I was going to say it does. It would probably get up to a decent top speed eventually, when when we when we can kind of stop the wheel spin. Problem is that I tend to find is we have to use the hard compound tyres on here, which do have less, slightly less grip, and um, because otherwise the car falls over all the time. So, all right, okay, yep, we will. Yes, I know the car is going to get broken if we go or we'll stay below. 40, oh no, I think it's 25 miles an hour for any length of time. Um, you, you fail the, the game, basically. So we've got to keep dodging and weaving in and out of these things. Ooh, good God. I don't think this car is going to be very good at this game either. Somehow, I'm having a sneaking suspicion that this might not be the best car for the job. Now, my previous record was 34. Uh, uh no, don't go too slow. More speed, thank you. Oh, flip. Uh, indeed, I am busted. Crap. Uh, <laughs> I've cut a 360 in half. But amazingly, the car does... St we've literally cut a Ferrari 360 in half. Uh, do we still drive? Oh, wow. We still... <laughs> oh, crap. I thought this might be a bit difficult to do with a car this hard to drive. As it turns out, yeah, I was about to say my record is I'm 34. I think we got to about 7 or something there. Oh dear. We have, I have well and truly killed the 360 challenge there. That is, um, that is a sad sight. I think the person is so... <laughs> the, the driver's seat is so far down on there that the person was underneath the floor. I'm not going to press the ramp thing, otherwise I think that'll break ev just everything. That is, mm, it's like an iPhone 6 almost. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's that's buggered it. Well, there we go. Uh, I, I can make a 1,400 horsepower Ferrari 360, but it's probably not a good idea to do so. Very hard to drive, incredibly easy to spin out if you're not careful, and when, it, when you do drop a 16-ton weight on it, it 
kind of... Yeah... That's a, that's a poor sight. Anyway, that is it for this video, guys. So, thank you very much for watching, and until next time, uh, goodbye.